Hello guys and welcome to another Era of Chaos video. Guys, today we are talking about the game in general and what to do if you have just started Era of Chaos. And because it's a very broad uh, subject, I decided to divide it into three videos. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the heroes and in general, what should be your strategy going further in the game. Uh, from day one all the way to the day that you decide to end the game, if this day ever counts. Now. What's important at the beginning? You have to save all the initial diamonds you get. Why I'm saying that? Because it doesn't matter whether you want to spend in this game or whether you want to be a dolphin, a kraken, or whether you want to be 100% free to play. In the beginning of the game, you'll be getting a lot of diamonds. So my suggestion is save them all. This is the most important thing you have to do in the beginning. Uh, because first thing first, there will be an angel altar and you have to get an angel. An angel is an SSR unit, which is extremely useful in almost any, uh, I don't know, team composition. He can fit everywhere. So one thing, you need to save diamonds so that uh, you can get an angel. Second thing, you need to save a diamond so that you can go right here when the time comes and unlock a pay to win, or in other words, paid hero faction leaders such as Tazar, Astro, Roland, and so on and so forth. By the way, if you want to know more about the faction leaders, I will link my video on them in the description. Uh, it is slightly outdated, but still uh, the main things go. Now, what's the point of saving the diamonds? Let's summarize once again. You need to get the angel in the beginning and you need uh, to get a hero. Now, before you get to the hero, of course, you have to identify your main factions. And what does that mean? Uh, in the beginning, once again, not only you're going to get a lot of diamonds, but you can unlock another SSR from the altar. And this is more likely applicable for uh, the free to play players because for the pay to win players, so people that want to spend a lot, uh, they can unlock a lot of SSR units, so it's not really that important. But if you don't want to spend a lot, in the beginning, you'll be unlocking units, SSR units from here. And based on that, of course, it is not entailed by that, but based on that, you might decide on which faction you want to go. Once again, it all depends on the SSRs you get in the beginning, if you want to be a free to play. Uh, and let's say that you get Angel, uh, you get Paladin, and that why not, you can go for Castle as your main um, faction. Or let's say that you get uh, a lot of uh, Green Drakes, then you can go Rampart. And this brings me to the next point. Partially the decision on where to go relies on the SSRs you get in the beginning uh, and also it depends on which hero you're going to get. Because some SSRs belong to Rampart but they can be used in dungeon. Some SSRs uh, like for example Paladin and uh, Angel, they um, belong to the castle formation but also they can be used in a tower formation and so on and so forth. So not only that you need to take a look at your SSRs but you need to know which heroes are easy to develop. If you are on a budget, then you don't want to go for Astro or Dragon Mutera. If you want to spend, let's say, $50 on the game, $30 on the game, then definitely don't go for one of those heroes. If this is the case for you, then I would go for Inferno or Rampart, because those two factions have two of the cheapest faction leaders that you can get, Gem uh, and uh, Zeron. This is very important to remember. When it comes to choosing your path in the game, you have to make sure, you have to know how much you can uh, spent. I'm not saying that you cannot be a relatively good Astro on a budget, but Astro is a hero that requires a lot of SSRs, a lot of commanders and so on and so forth in order to be really, really strong. And for example, Gem, she doesn't rely on that many SSRs in order to be strong. She can be kind of okay even without an SSR. So she's a very, very good way to go if you want to just enjoy the game and don't spend a lot. Uh, of course, there are free-to-play heroes, but uh, once again, all you need to do is collect your diamonds. That's the most important thing in the beginning. You have to collect the diamonds and you have to spend them on a hero. You have to go here, spend, uh, sorry, save about 70,000 diamonds. It will take a while, but trust me, it will pay off. And then spend them here, get a hero that you want. By the time you collect 70,000 diamonds, you have an idea which hero you want. And if you want to just have fun, then forget about it, buy whatever hero you want, but once again, you need to uh, save your diamonds. And after you select the hero that you want, then the name of the game is simple. Again, save diamonds and use them uh, to unlock 
ultra rare units or commanders, such as, for example, the Judicator. Those units are game changers. So you don't care about this unit, for example, you don't care about this unit, you don't care about this unit, you care about the commanders. If you get as many commanders as possible, as high stars as possible, then you will be stronger. Of course, this doesn't mean just forget everything else, but your absolute priority should be the commanders. For example, there is a free-to-play hero, which is called Draken, who is incredibly good with the commander uh, adjudicated at six stars. Actually, he is probably currently the best free-to-play um, hero, only because the adjudicated six stars is absolutely broken with him. This is how strong those units are. Uh, so in the beginning of the game, once again, let's recap what we said. You need to save the diamonds that you get to get an angel in the beginning. And after that, you need to save them all in order to get a paid hero as soon as possible. And after you are done with this, then you need to save diamonds for the um, URs or in other words, commanders. Now you have to make your own calculation on whether having a commander of six stars is more important than unlocking two or three SSRs. But once again, the commanders are as expensive as an SSR when it comes to unlocking them at six stars, but they are two or three times more effective. So definitely guys, go uh, for the commanders. Currently the name of the game is you need to have heroes, then you need to have strong URs, then you need to have strong SSRs, and from there on weapons, artifacts, uh, and are, uh, basically this is it, weapons, artifacts, the most important things in the game, but we are going to cover this in the next videos. Uh, and basically this is it, this is what I wanted to uh, check with you um, currently, this is what I wanted to give you as an information. Uh, you need to understand guys, this game changes like every month and it's really difficult to uh, give you a, a guide that it is, let's say correct now, it will be correct and uh, it will be up to date in one year. It will be almost impossible. But at the moment, the most important thing in this game is the commanders and the heroes. If you have just started the game, just need to make sure you're going to unlock a hero and you're going to unlock commander. Basically, this is it. Of course, you need to be prepared for the formation in the hero in the process. For example, if you want to go Tazer, that means you need to focus on fortress units. You don't just go here and buy any hero. You need to have a plan. We already discussed in the beginning. Also, you're getting a lot of SSRs. And if you're having fun with them, let's say that you get once again uh, Green Drake, you're having fun with it, then you're waiting uh, for Gem to come here and then you can buy her if you don't want to spend money. If you can spend a lot of money, then my advice for you is going to be like this. If you want to spend money, don't go and jump for any single offer in the market because some of them are horrible. I'm going to release a video on that very, very soon. But in general, currently, the most, the best place that you want to spend money is, um, let me just see what I can show you. Uh, it is right here. You need to have the material. The Mitro is one of the most important things at the moment. If you have the Mitro, you're all set because weapons are really broken. They can change the game. Everything else, not that worth. If you have uh, SR Plus, uh, you know, the thing is for SR Plus, actually, they even, actually, they're here, I'm sorry. Uh, the SR Plus are not really that impactful now compared to how impactful they were uh, six months ago. They're still strong for those of you who are completely new SR plus are units that you can obtain by spending $50. They are strong, but still, uh, unless you 100% need this unit, I still would go for the Mitro because it's much, much more impactful. If, of course, uh, you use it on the correct unit. And basically, this is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will summarize what I said for one last time. And this is my part one of my beginner tutorial. The next time we're going to be talking about how to be successful in the game events. We're going to cover them one by one. Of course, I won't go into details. I'm just going to tell you for this event, you need to use this hero, these units are the best, and so on and so forth. For today's video, once you have started the game, the most important thing is to save diamonds to get an angel in the beginning, then to get a paid hero, and then save everything uh, in order to get commanders for uh, your hero. Another thing that I mentioned, uh, that I missed to mention is you need to spend, if you wanna spend diamonds outside of this, there are specific places that you should never spend diamonds, such as this one. Uh, 
And every time when you see a random SSR, unless you are in the first one or two weeks, or let's say one month playing the game, then it's not worth, especially after you have decided, okay, I'm going to for, for Fortress, because this means that there are two, let's say four SSRs that you can use, the other ones, they won't be of any use for you. So basically you are paying for a chance to get something that you won't need. The same applies for the gold keys. Uh, it is simply not worth investing a lot in them actually investing anything in them because once again it is a lottery you can get something that you don't need at all this is why just don't buy 300 uh, gold key uh, sorry 300 diamonds for a gold key is uh, one of the worst deals in the game okay guys this is going to be all for me for today see you next time take care and stay safe perfect